very glad that I'm comfortable with you guys. Good morning. Today is Monday, so happy Monday, and it's giving Monday right now. I got up early today. It is 6.50. I've been up since a little after 6. I did hit snoozeru a little bit. I'm trying to get trying to get back into early to bed, early to rise, because I've been sleeping in a little bit. So I I, I do I do miss early mornings. So very much giving half a sleep right now. But I do need to go to the gym this morning. I was kind of assessing like the morning ahead and I have my arthritis. <laughs> I can't not laugh at the arthritis. Um, I have my orthopedist appointment today at 8.45. So I was gonna try to go work out before and then go to the appointment because the gym is kind of near there, and then come home and shower and get ready, and then go drop off the gifts, because I have like a window for drop off. For some reason, I thought I had to drop them off in the morning, but I have the entire day today. So I was just trying to figure out the best, the best course of action here, but I think that's what it's gonna be. Um, I also found this shirt from last year's Christmas attire. Isn't it so cute? I think it's from Etsy. <sighs> All right, I am going to, I'm gonna make us some breakfast because Yara's working from home. So let's let's whip up some brekkie for us. Another breakfast that we've been loving are anything with turkey bacon. I love turkey bacon. Oh my God, no. This Monday is already giving so much Monday. It's going bad. <laughs> It's turning green. That's the thing though, <laughs> with like the real turkey bacon, it like goes bad within like five days after you open it. All right, okay. Normally we plow right through that. That has never happened, so I'm like, what? Okay. Oh, I also need to get groceries today, so we'll add that to the grocery list. Perhaps more avocado toast. I have another avocado. Oh yeah, this looks perfect. And I almost just dropped this whole loaf because there's no tie on it. What is going on this morning? Oh my God. Good pee-pee. You want today's advent calendar? Let's see, day four. What's day four? What's day, ooh, what is that? What is that? Wow, it looks like a dried sponge. Here you go. <laughs> Based off that reaction, I think he likes it. He's playing with it. Okay. Have fun. Okay, so I thought before ha Yar has to start work. So the new Eddie Murphy movie. We would give a review of the movie. Seven. Listen, Yar giving it a seven is really good. Because he's like the harsh with critics. Crit movie criticalness. Yeah. So I gave it, I gave, what I give it an eight or 7.5? You gave it a 7.5. 7.5, which is like pretty good for like a new Christmas movie, you know? Cause like new Christmas movies, like you can't beat the classics, but like when a new one comes out, like you have to watch it. Is there any in your opinion that are modern future classics? Modern future classics. Ooh, I like that. Mm, what are your thoughts? I don't think I've seen one yet. No? No. Like, I saw one. What? Spirited last year. Oh, that was that amazing. Was good. But you know, like, I don't, I'd give that like above an eight score. I haven't seen sure. anyone talk about it though. True. But if you it guys was a good movie. haven't watched it yet, we watched it last year in Montreal during my birthday mm -hmm. trip. Spirited. It was with Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, yeah. and it was like it was a musical, and neither of us even like love musicals. It was so good. We should watch it again this year. We, it thought, was really good. we should make it like that a tradition. Was a good movie. Yeah, yeah, it was really good, and like especially like for a musical, like it was very very good. Um, I think the last newest classic is Elf, like because then like Home Alone and all those other ones are older. It came out like twenty years ago, right? Two thousand and two, one maybe. Maybe three. there's been some other ones. Two thousand three, I think. Yeah. Um, somebody could fact check us. Yeah, so. actually, I think it's about twenty years sure. old. Yeah. Oh, it was because they did um, a special screening in the theaters for the twenty year reunion. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just bought the Blu-ray. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So 
Oh, I have honey on my shirt. That's what happened. And look, you can see his dog fur on the honey. Mm. <laughs> I was wondering how he got sticky. Okay, for my avocado toast. But the movie, it said it was two hours, but it stopped at one hour 45 and then the end was credits. So it's only an hour 45, which is like a good length because two hours we were like, that's a little long. Can we just bring back the days when movies were an hour to like 90 minutes tops, right? 90 minutes to an hour 45, that's it. I that's, love 90 minute movies. I can't movies. stand like these newer movies. Like two, three hours. Hour was like three hours. No, I um, can't. <laughs> The new Martin Scorsese movie that the the, the uh, Killers of the Flower Moon is like three hours. Is it long? Napoleon. That's another one that's like super long. So it's, it's we were gonna watch that. Is it super yeah, long? Yeah, we could break it up. I guess long, we're waiting for it to come out at home to watch that the Flower Moon one. But overall, it was funny. We laughed yeah. a few times. It had like it had a really interesting storyline. We won't give anything away. But like it, it was a different kind of storyline played around the Twelve Days of Christmas. Yeah. And it was it, very unique. It was unique. Sure. Yeah. So like the writer was really good. It was funny. I love Tracy Ellis Ross. Love Eddie Murphy. So like overall, really good. Yeah. I would recommend. Go it was watch it. number one in America, right? On Prime. Number one on Prime. On Prime. Number one on. Prime. When we clicked on it, it yeah. said that. And there was another Christmas movie on the home screen. So. We'll be watching Christmas movies. There's three weeks till Christmas. Three weeks till Christmas. <laughs> Did you update your countdown over there? No, I haven't been updating it. It's okay. so annoying. <laughs> I, I need to update, update it. That. I know it says 30 days. All right, I'm gonna work. All right. Ciao. That was our movie review. Okay, I just changed into my gym attire. This is one of my favorite tops from Buff Bunny. Look at the back. It's so cute. And it's got like a squared off neckline and like really nice cups. Like it actually gives like way more support than most sports bras. So we're gonna skip coffee today. Oh, and look what we're gonna have. Gotta do it like the TikTok girlies. <laughs> I love it. I, I love watching it. I'm not making fun of anyone. I think it's great. Oh, we're still, we're in Christmas mode, but with the Alani, we're still Halloweening. The witch's brew is just the best flavor. It's so good. Okay, so I've had to like, <laughs> had to rearrange this morning a little bit. Um, it's 8.07. My ortho appointment's at 8.45. I'm sorry, you guys are like, girl, like get your life together. I just keep rearranging my plans. We are gonna go directly orthopedist. <laughs> I can never get that word out. Cause I always wanna say orthodontist from my braces era. Orthopedist, gym, then dropping off the gifts. That's the plan. Then we're gonna come home and shower. And honestly, by that point, it's gonna be like lunchtime. And yeah, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I should have recorded when I open this, you are gonna freak out. I ordered my 2024 planner cause I have a planner every year and I love that time of year where it's time to get a new planner. So I was like perusing on Amazon and I'm just like, maybe they'll have a cute one here. I was looking at the Bando ones cause I really like that. They have like cute designs, but nothing spoke to me. This one, look at this. It's all watercolor doodles. It's got a Bernadoodle, all different kinds of like poodle doodle combos. And it's a watercolor, it's so cute. It is so cute. It's from this brand, which is kind of similar to Bando, I guess. And oh my God, do I love it. And I love the texture of it. And I always look for a planner that's with a, uh, what is this called? Ringlet, I don't know, what is this called? I'm having, I'm having a brain fart. Spiral ring, whatever. But <laughs> it has all my favorite stuff. It's got like, stickers because i always love adding like stickers so my routine being like a work from home person um i have like long-term stuff for personal and work i have different calendars on my phone and then week by week i'll put it in the planner so that's like a great little way i stay on track i plan long term on my phone monthly calendar and then i weekly plan like I'll look at the calendar each week on my phone and put it in paper. So I'm like, it's fresh in my mind. I can stay on top of things. So yeah, it's got like your usual yearly calendar, a bunch of really, really cute stickers and like a lot of them, which I just, I love because I hate when you run out. And then at the beginning of each month, it's got like a positive quote. And then it's got like your monthly goals, monthly focus, highlights, notes, important dates to remember. Oh, it's just perfect. It's just like perfect. It's got like a positive quote on each page and then your perfect weekly planner with like lots of side note areas, which is the best. There's Yar's coffee machine always trying to say 
hello <laughs> but yeah this is just so perfect and it was actually a bit cheaper than my usual uh planners that i buy so i will link this down below if you want to get it too because like if you're a doodle mom or even if you're not like so cute and actually if you click this they had other designs as well and then you guys this is what i teased in yesterday's vlog i'm so excited this is gonna go on the car one of you lovely humans tagged me in this on tiktok and i was like so i immediately screwed my butt over to amazon and we're gonna put this on my car today so this is a pack i got it comes in like a two pack or did i buy two actually i think i bought two um it's a pack of magnetic reflective christmas lights that you put on your car just like kind of waving the string and then putting the lights around and it's like reflective so at night it just looks like amazing but it also looks good like during the day because you can obviously tell what they are but the fact that they look amazing at night too i am absolutely thrilled because you guys know i have my santa hats inside the car and i get compliments on those quite a bit when i go to like pick up groceries or whatever but now we can spread the cheer from the outside world. So I will link these as well. It's got a ton of different colors. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bag up the gifts. A few minutes later. Are you gonna send off the good vibes with our gifts? I packaged them all up, labeled the bags, and we are off to the orthopedist. Yes, we are. All right, you guys, I have gone to the orthopedist, which I took a clip <laughs> in the room, um, and all is well with my wrist. He like did a bunch of like movements with it and um, said, honestly, based off of like the x-rays the first time, it looked like just a, an acute inflammation situation that I flared up when I had flung my wrist back when I burned it. So he said like the shot, since it's feeling like really good, the shot should keep it at bay for like he said maybe forever maybe years but if it starts to hurt again to let him know but he doesn't think it's gonna like he doesn't expect it to flare up again he said it was pretty acute so that was super comforting we love that um and now i'm i'm free of the orthopedist until it starts to hurt again and hopefully it never will I did stop at home and pick up Bruni Bear because he wanted to go for a ride this morning and I felt bad. So so we have this seat down in the back and Bruno loves to lay down in the way back now. Um, so he's been loving that. And then I put the presents, um, since there's limited space back there, they're all in the passenger seat next to me. And I already went and did my upper body workout. So we've had a nice productive morning and the present drop-off place is like 30 minutes away so i've been driving now for about 20 minutes i'm just listening to a podcast i am zoned out podcasted up i kind of like love those those drives where you're just like la 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 driving slow got the cruise control on just listening to the podcast there's like no one on the road this is like it's so quiet out it's just it's honestly been very pleasant so on the agenda today when we get home i want to put the cute little um the cute little lights on the car i wanted to do it in between when i picked up the dog and i totally forgot to do it um because he was just so excited and it got all types of chaotic um so i want to do that oh is your is your head sticking up hello and then i also need to do laundry today yar is slammed right now between work army and he's finishing up his last course for um his second master's degree uh, he's at like the tail end of this very final semester right now um so he'll be graduating in a few weeks which is like really exciting so um he'll be in the vlogs as much as he can but like he is very busy right now like hardest worker i've ever met he's so inspiring he just He's incredible and he still manages to like just show me so much love and be there for me and i'm just so grateful for him so busy busy but it's a busy season i guess for all of us because now it's a lot it like still has not really hit me that like 
we're in vlogmas right now i feel like the older i get the quicker time goes by the more like things don't feel real i just feel like time flies and i just i don't know <laughs> i try really hard to like be present because sometimes i just feel like we go through the motions of life and time goes by so fast and then all of a sudden it's like oh my god it's been a really long time it's been months like this whole year went by so fast I just feel like life has been so weird since the pandemic like I don't know going by really fast I don't know I feel like a lot of people have been saying that too but I also can't decide if it's just because you know we're getting older hi baby did you want to say hi to the vlog <laughs> okay I am pulling up to the drop-off don't know where it is. Okay, here it is. It's quite a production and I love it. They're so organized. They have like lanes for drop off. So organized. Are you gonna be a good boy with your head out? Are you gonna be cuckoo bananas? Hello. Dropping off. Follow that vehicle right there. Okay. Do, do, do. I'm glad a lot of you guys also had that song stuck in your head because don't forget to hang up your sock. Hello. Oh, no? That's on me. Oh, that's fine. No, I apologize. <laughs> oh, no problem. Just these right here, right? Um, yep, these four. Yep. Very good. They smell good, too. Oh, yes, they're scented. <laughs> I know they are. Thank you very much. Thanks. Merry Have Christmas. a good day. Happy Merry New Christmas. Christmas. Drop-off is secured. Now it's time to go home and take a shower. Okay, I'm back home. I am going to set up my little tripod and put the Christmas lights on the car. I'm looking at my car now and it has like uneven surface on the sides. So I'm kind of hoping <laughs> it will stick okay. Like you can see my car has like bumpiness to it. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited though. The light bulbs are really magnetic, but like the these stringy parts are not. Like so, should I just maybe get rid of the stringy parts? Like they like come right off. So I don't know what to do. <gasps> I have to put it over it. Oh crikey! Now I gotta take it all off. Oh, these are for your car. These are the metal things. The little covers. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Oh God, these are hard to get off. The, these are strong. Yeah, you gotta put it over. You gotta put it over it. Oh God, I need something to like get them off with. Are you still here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, did he leave? Oh, okay, so you just need something with a little edge get it off. Oh, this is so cute. Like, I am live, laugh, loving. It was this or the reindeer ears, babe. I am having lots of fun, darling. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> hey, but how are you going to open the doors? I have it on each side. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do I not act like I know what I'm doing? Is it not obvious? Oh, this is so cute, guys. It takes a little bit of maneuvering, but we're getting there. It could be more even, but honestly, I think it looks great. So these are super magnetic, but these are not. So put them over it to keep it secure. Oh, it's so cute. And they're like reflective. So at night, they'll be like super 
shiny. So now I'm going to do the other side. And I would recommend having like something like a credit card or something to like pick the edges up to move them because like I said the light bulb ones are super strong but it's so cute and you guys voila <laughs> if any of my neighbors are watching right now they know me so um look how cute so the thing is like I said I mean we'll have to take it for a test run but I think as long as the bulbs are over the center of this because these are horrible not good magnets but like I said these are strong so we'll see we'll see I'm excited um, but they're so cute oh my gosh and they really weren't expensive so <laughs> I'll link these two but stand by I'll let you know if they like actually stay on when I go to pick up the groceries later so hold hold your Amazon purchase until I check if they stay on many hours later okay so it is a lot later my hair is still a little bit wet just letting it air dry um, it is almost five so we're gonna make dinner soon but I just went and picked up our grocery order and great news the lights did not fall off and we went on the highway. So great news. So we got chicken breast, ground beef, more turkey bacon that we will not let go bad, tortilla chips. Um, I'm gonna make lemon chicken pasta tonight using this Bonza Cavatappi. We needed more oil blend. That's what I use to cook. It's avocado and olive oil couple of lemons for the pasta, some guacamole singles, you know, Yars Faves snack. Um, heavy cream is for the recipe tonight. More oat milk for Yar. Oh, and I wanted to try this Nut Pods creamer because it's zero sugar, but it is sweetened. It must be sweetened with stevia leaf. I don't know. I'm trying to find a creamer that's healthier, but you know. And we got a bag full of different cheese. We need Parmesan cheese for this recipe. Just a bag of mozzarella, uh, feta cheese. I wanna try the feta eggs that everyone loves. Um, and then Sweet Lawrence has another new holiday cookie, gingerbread. And then I love the uh, less sugar. And then these are some of my favorite breakfast bars, the kind uh, almond butter breakfast protein and I did get a new Mike's Hot Honey because we're getting really low. We also needed just more salt and then pizza sauce. This was on sale so I grabbed it. And then avocados and of course bananas and oranges. So that's our little haul of the week. I'm going to whip up dinner. I'll link the recipe below that I'm following because I've followed it several times and it is so delish. Okay, I just finished. So I basically cook the chicken first, pre-cut, boil the pasta, and then take out the chicken and make the sauce in the same pan here as the chicken. The flavor is amazing. So if you're looking for a good new dinner recipe, I highly recommend. Okay, you guys, we are going to eat dinner and watch the new episode of Gilded Age. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Vlogmas. I'm so glad that those holiday lights didn't come off. I was very nervous on that car ride, but all is good. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.